Hey guys, this month Milwaukee announced a brand new 21 inch self-propelled dual battery M18 mower. And while the Milwaukee 21 inch lawnmower is geared more towards a professional landscaper, it's absolutely worth a look for anyone who wants a solidly built battery powered lawnmower, especially if you're running M18 tools already, you're on the platform. Milwaukee built this mower with a high lift steel deck that mulches grass and has a high torque performance that's greater than a 200cc gasoline mower. The mower is fueled by two 12 amp hour high output batteries and a 36 volt electric motor powers it. The mower blades will reach full power and top speed in under one second. So we wanted to put the mower, put this equipment through some paces, right? We wanted to see how it performed when cutting rugged materials. So we went out and we basically selected an overgrown lot on one of our construction sites that had a combination of grass, weeds, brush, and trash. Uh, we expected the Milwaukee mower to excel, you know, in a, a well-manicured lawn, but how would it perform on this overgrown, rugged develop parcel, development parcel? Uh, let's first talk about some manufacturing quality. So we, uh, while we assembled it, we noticed that the hardware and the mower pieces were excellent in quality. The pieces fit together with no issues, and we noted that even the bolts that we noted uh, used, um, like to hold the handle together, showed a great deal of thought. The bolts actually have a section of threads that are machined out so that you know exactly where you are when you back the knob off to fold those handles. You know right where to sufficiently stop, and it enables you to fold the handles up or down. Uh, we checked the fit of the mulch plug, the rear side discharge chute, the grass catcher. Um, each of these parts attach and detach with ease. We took a look at the underside of the mower and we liked what we saw. Um, first, we checked the wheels for run out and felt no excess, in, you know, the tolerances between the wheels and the axles. Um, another design element that we liked was the front of the mower. It actually has what would be best described as a skid plate like design. Uh, molded in ridges that pretty much will protect the front of the mower you're climbing up a hill or over degree and obstacles. Kind of like a skid plate would work in an off-road vehicle or something like that. Milwaukee has um, the look and feel of a mower that was really built for daily non-stop professional landscapers. Some of the standout features, the start-stop button. Uh, it's a switch, it's a push-button switch located in the operator's right side near the safety bar. Uh, it's a large and well-positioned switch that stands out because of its size and white background. The bail bar um, must be held against the handle in order to uh, hold the start switch and get it to press to start the motor. The start blade button is, uh, will remain locked inward as long as you hold that bail bar down. Now the safety bail bar that I'm talking about, um, they did a nice job designing this. They integrated the safety ba uh, bail bar into the handle, recessed into the handle, so it doesn't, you don't get a hot spot on your hand. And we used the mower exclusively, extensively and did not feel any of uh, uncomfortableness holding it or gripping it. Nice ergonomic detail. Uh, Self-propelled speed dial. This dial sets the speed from one to five, and it'll move the mower from zero to four miles an hour. Uh, lots of torque in this, and um, there's a variable speed paddle, and when engaged, the mower will quickly reach the speed that you set it to. Um, that dial can also be adjusted while the mower is moving, which we liked. And then um, I talked about the variable speed paddle. You can vary, vary, vary the speed of the mower and control it in a proportional basis while you're moving. Uh, when it's fully depressed, the mower will reach maximum speed fast. Um, it's, it's a torque, it's an electric mower. Um, users will, can also modulate the position of this paddle and throttle it to get your speed where you want to maybe slow down and go around an obstacle or other reasons. Um, Milwaukee designed the paddle to be used with either hand and it works really well with the thumb, one thumb. Uh, the blade does not need to uh, be spinning in order to use the self-propelled feature, which is nice. There is a high lift selector and that increases the speed of the blade from 28 
100 to 3300 RPMs. And users may want to engage that mode in situations for better bagging or fine, finer mulching situations. Maybe in the fall, uh, up here in the Northeast, you might want to use that to pick up leaves when you mow the lawn. There's leaves on the ground as well. Help suck that up, assist with that. Um, engaging the high lift mode will illuminate an LED light on the dashboard, um, letting you know that it's activated. Speaking of LED lights, there is an LED light switch for low light operations. Now users can turn on the headlamps basically, and you get front and side headlamp, which is pretty nice. It's almost like a 180 swath of light. Um, and you can toggle between them. There is a fuel gauge LED and Milwaukee put it um, right uh, right with a battery for the battery status and it's forward facing so you can just see it the whole time you're mowing you can look at it full charges four leds when the batteries reach one led they're pretty much spent so um when the juice is officially that lower i should say critically low the remaining leds are going to flash on you and shortly thereafter if you're under load, the mower will stop working. That's what we've learned. This LED cycle gives plenty of warning though, and it prevents you from being far away from maybe your next set of charged batteries. Uh, blade height adjustment lever. So they designed a single lever, which I absolutely love this, a single lever adjustment to raise the entire mower deck. The lever is located on the right side, right-handed users, we love those right-handed users, um, uh, and right point of view. The lever moves the deck uh, in elevation from one inch above the ground to four inches above the ground. It has stops at half inch increments between the highest and lowest adjustments. Users can easily change between these stops by just moving the lever out of the detent and positioning where you want and in. It's, it's easy, to, easy to move. Um, well, it takes a bit of force to lift it up, um, it's, it's easily accomplished. It's not that hard because you, you are lifting the weight of the deck. There is a uh, handle height locking pins. We'll talk about that. The designers basically provided three different heights of the mower handle. Lower, lowest mode is gonna give you about 36 and a quarter inches off the ground. The middle adjustment, which is where I liked it, was 40 and a half inches. And the highest adjustment was 44 and three quarter inches. Uh, there are also grab or lift handles. Really nice, you're lifting up on a trailer or a, a, a pickup truck. Really well thought out feature. Big handles in the front and the rear deck, be able to pick it right up. Um, Milwaukee, this Milwaukee mower does weigh 85 pounds with the batteries in it, so those handles are useful. The mower is not lightweight, right? So um, probably don't want something you're gonna use all the time lightweight. You want it to be robust, right? So we tested the mower and we subjected it to conditions uh, it may not have been designed to routinely undertake. So. We wanted to just, our test patch was on the other end of the spectrum from a finely manicured lawn, uh, better suited for a brush hog or something like that than a mower. We estimated that the grass was probably nine inches in average height, and we used the side rear discharge chute. The mower pretty much resembled a hay baler, and the debris just shot out the sides. Surprisingly, the mower did not bog down, even when we cut down um, some of the brush-like growth and dense iron grass clumps. The mower senses when the speed drops and almost instantly you can hear the mower, the motor uh, ramp up. And, and you can hear it when it happens. It, it just ramps it right up, increases the speed almost instantaneously. So our first cut uh, test, we started the test uh, with the mower deck set at six and a half inches high. That way we figured we could go through it, uh, through the weeds, cut things down a little bit and see if there was any glass or any debris or rocks or anything we we're gonna hit. Uh, we then used a mulching plug to see what it was like in the mower, it would choke basically um, by chewing up that material and it did not. Uh, it cut through the materials with no trouble at all at relatively high speed. We didn't evaluate the mulching capacity at this point, it was too thick. Um, our typical speed on the first cut was between three and a half and four um, the first cut lasted a half an hour. Uh, we used one unit of battery, one LED. We went to the second cut. Now, once that first cut was initial, initiated, uh, we lowered the deck to two inches. We cut the um, cup and used a side discharge. And the second cut, we basically recut the plot that we did, the same plot. Again, the Milwaukee mower didn't hesitate in slicing through the grass. We took about 20 minutes to compete, uh, complete and the second cut had one unit of power remaining when we were done. 
this portion of the test really challenged the mower and we moved we moved an impressive amount of large grass as well as cut grass that was already laying down from the earlier cut. So near the end of the second cut, we lowered the deck down to the lower setting and the Milwaukee mower went through this material and basically cut up all the hay and the clippings and everything else, no issues. The catcher bag uh, holds about two bushels of grass, we figure. Um, we moved on to the final cut. The final portion of the test was taking the mower to another part of, this, uh, of the lot where the grass was more conventional, it was nicer. And we wanted to see how much longer the battery would run on one LED worth of power and how the mower would behave when we exhausted the battery. We weren't sure what was gonna happen yet. So it lasted another 15 minutes. It cut well until that point. We continued to use the side discharge chute as this represented the lightest load for the mower. We didn't wanna stress it because we knew we were on low battery. Um, when the batteries were nearly completed, the single LED on the fuel gauge started to flash and it indicate that it was out of power. Um, while it was in that flashing mode, we hit a dense patch of grass uh, to put it under load and it did, it just stopped. It's like a brushless mower, right? Motor. Lights out, no power. In total, we used a mower for 65 minutes, aggressive cutting. Throughout that time, the mower had no difficulties with anything we asked it to cut. Uh, in the easier grass areas, we felt like the Milwaukee mower clearly outperformed the gas mower. It was much quieter, creates no exhaust fumes, and was as agile and easy to use as any mower we've tested or used. Um, so a little bit about noise. One of the biggest questions readers have about cordless mowers is, you know, how much noise do they really make? Well, we did a basic decibel test to measure the sound pressure of the mower, just to get an idea of how much noise it does make. Um, this test uh, consisted of running the mower on the, uh, with its deck raised to its midpoint level on an asphalt slab in front of a construction trailer, I'm trying to block out some other noises. We held the decibel meter at ear height. The decibel meter uh, was a, a ITUR 40, 468 frequency rating, and we ran the test for 30 seconds. We compared the reading with the decibel readings we took in our 2020 cordless mower head-to-head -head test. We tested 15 or 18, 20 mowers. That way we could just see how Milwaukee stacked up. The Milwaukee registered an average of 77.9 decibels on the asphalt, about the same amount of noise one would experience from a car passing at 65 miles an hour. The noise we measured while mowing averaged 71.6 decibels, which is a reduction of approximately 40% in noise energy from the asphalt, from that reading on the asphalt. The Milwaukee mower was quieter than any of the mowers in our 2020 cordless head-to-head -head test by 2.5 decibels. Um, cost, the mower comes as a kit and it's gonna come with two 12 amp hour batteries and a fast charger. Pricing is gonna be just under $1,000, $9.99 uh, and the mower will be available this April, 2022. So overall thoughts. So the team feels that it's a super robust mower. It's designed and built for a professional, uh, but anybody could use it, right? Um, M18 Fuel 21 inch self-propelled mower has an impressive cutting performance and will stack up to its competition. In comparing this Milwaukee to the results we saw in 2022, 2020 in our head to head, Milwaukee would have crushed the competition in many of the critical categories that we reviewed. Uh, guys, uh, I would stack this mower up against some of the top finishers out there right now for comparison. And we'll probably have to do another head-to-head -head this summer just to show you guys. Look, that's it for the video. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. We wanted to test it. By the way, we tested this down in Florida, if you're wondering, because there's snow up here right now. Um, if you enjoyed the video, guys, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Um, please consider subscribing. Hit that button right there, the notification button, so you don't miss any um, any of our videos. If you like these shirts, we are selling them at the bottom of our videos in the, in the uh, YouTube store. I'm Rob Robillard. We'll see you next time. Take care.